displayed before he got there, and that means we're going to add a little bit of overtime. So last restart, Walker had about his bed. Uh, Walker had as good a move as we've seen him have all race on a restart. That was the best thing we've seen him do all night. He needs more than that. You have got to have a restart of of an eternity to be able to try to try to get around Stewart here. They're trying to get Justin uh, rolling again. As it looks like that car, something something definitely is uh, is a miss where they can't even get that thing refired and rolling again. But for Stewart, you thought that you were smooth sailing and pulling away, and now you're going to have to do it again. Unbelievable. So they're going to put the uh, push bumper to the back of. The heat wave mobile, get that thing pushed out of the way. How reckless do you get if you're Walker? Do you do you want to do you want to just hold out of the chips here and come out at the end and say, hey, I finished second, or or is this like gunfight at the OK Corral? I'm walking in here. I might not be walking out. I mean, I'm all for stories and storytelling, <laughs> and I think it'd be pretty cool to tell my kids or my grandkids one day that I ran second to Tony Stewart at IRP for the Indy 800 presented by Heatwave Visual, but it would also be way <laughs> cool to be like, man, I totally <laughs> sent it and I tried everything I couldn't. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. So there you see, and uh, give a big shout out again to Justin from Heatwave Visual and their whole team doing a great job again setting us up here. Uh, at the uh, at the Lucas Oil Indianapolis Raceway Park in the facility here, they're doing a great job. They've uh, got some great inter interaction down in the uh, breezeway. Uh, if you're going to be here again tomorrow, be sure to stop by their booth, check them out. They'll be able to get you hooked up. They can get you some custom built sunglasses in a hurry. And uh, like I said, they're getting some awesome glasses turned together really, really quickly, and they'll make you look uh, pretty smart. I mean, they make us well. We yes, we did. I mean, we think fast we upgrade. We think we look fast cool, upgraded appearance. Yeah. Lights are out. All right, two laps to go. When they come by, they'll see the green flag. The next time they come by, it'll be the white flag. When they see that white flag, the next yellow, the next flag that comes out, that will end it, whether it's the yellow or the checker. So for Tony, he just wants to get to that white flag to try to secure a win here at the Indy 800. Field is stacked up two by two. Field has dwindled, but the energy and the racing action has not slowed one bit. We're headed to overtime, 78 laps completed, ready to go for one final restart, we think, here at Lucas Oil Indianapolis Raceway Park. Can Tony Stewart hold on, or can Zach Walker or Derek from Vice Grip Garage get it done? We're about to find out. Green flag is getting ready to be
the nitrous and NOS, the safety equipment with Race Swim, and uh, my boys just working on these cars, making it happen. Is there anything else I gotta say? Let's double check before I close it out. We're good? Thanks for watching. New for Dale. Wolf Rick and see you later.